uh, you are preparing for what sir i am preparing for igca technical officer igca technical officer yes sir mechatronics so this is based upon the written test eh yes sir written test you are from mechanical background no sir i am from mechatronics background uh, my bachelor's in from mechatronics engineering okay yes sir okay, okay then uh, narita go ahead and uh, introduce yourself yes sir so my name is nairuthya patel sir i belongs to mehsana district in gujarat sir my father is a shopkeeper and my mother is a homemaker i have an elder sister and she is uh, assistant professor in commerce college sir i have done my bachelor's in mechatronics engineering from g h patel college of engineering and technology uh, sir i secured a gold medal in state university sir uh, then after i joined panuk india private limited as a training engineer in service division uh, where, where i worked with robotics and automation uh, i worked there for almost 9 months and then i have decided to go for the preparation of competitive exams uh, since there i am in the preparation for the phase of an examination Hmm. So, when did you complete your B.Tech? Sir, I completed in 2019. 2019. Yes, sir. And uh, how long did you work over there? Sir, I worked for nine months, like up to March 2020. Hmm. Okay. So, why you just left that? Why you uh, didn't continue over there? Sir, I wanted to go in the research field. Like, I wanted to go for masters in uh, IITs or to go for some research organization to join some research organization. So I have decided to go for the preparation. Sir, I also secured an admission in IIT Palakkad through my GATE 2021 score. But because of some personal reasons, I have and some guidance of seniors, I have decided to withdraw my seat from there. Hmm. So why why then on one hand you are saying that if you got the opportunity to do the research, you will go over there. But when you got the opportunity, you left it. Sir, so there so there are several reasons where they are like. IGCAR exam. So IGCAR exam was like golden opportunity for me. So it's uh, they are particularly recruiting for mechatronics engineer, and which is best opportunity for us. And when I get guidance from seniors, so they told me that if you really want that opportunity, uh, you should prepare. You should focus on the preparation of that exam, which you will not be able to do good if you will join a, an IIT. So also because of COVID, the institutes were going online. So. even if i will join an iit maybe i will not get that feel of being an iit so i was advised that if you i will go for one year of drop one more year of drop uh, it will be fine like i will get an opportunity of igcar and also i may be able to score well in gate 2022 again mm -hmm. so how your training could be helpful okay in this particular role sir so training of my job yes yeah yes sir so sir uh, there i got trained with cnc machines uh, which are basically uh, like uh, all the electronics part of cnc machine and all so sir i am well familiar with electronics part sir there i also got training with the uh, repairs of all the cnc machine drives motors and controllers which is uh, which is very important part for electronics portion so sir, i think uh, that is something which i can use and uh, sir mechanical i have already covered in gate so sir basic concepts i did clear with all that so sir i think uh, from mechatronics point of view i'll be able to utilize my knowledge of mechanical and electronics and the practical example of electronics which i got from my job mm -hmm. okay and uh, what do you think uh, how you can uh, have contribute how you can contribute in this particular role what do you have in mind which you think that okay these are the areas where you could have a significant contribution yes sir so sir like uh, Uh, ig car is de uh, dealing with the hazardous uh, component like uh, thorium and uranium so that is something if we uh, like direct human contact with those uh, matter i mean those components are not advisable so that's something which is done by robots that is why what i found from online sources so so that's where the automation and robotics will come into picture so sir i think that i can utilize my knowledge in the designing of uh, various robots which can find out the like the operational areas in the field of uh, this robotics and like what is going on there so, so that's how i think i'll be able to contribute there okay okay so let me just give you the feedback yes sir yes sir production part is okay you seem yes, to be confident and uh, you are explaining the things well yes sir you had some uh, training also over there 
Yes, sir. Why? Okay, the first question is going to be why why you are uh, left that uh, particular job. So, which you also explained, I think, properly. Okay, uh, you wanted to be there in some kind of research organization, and that is why you wanted to uh, you left that job. But at the same time, yes, sir. That is going to be the question. Okay, that. Uh, in this organization, you are not getting opportunity for the research-related activities. That is how okay. you are justifying. Okay. That's what you are saying. So, indirectly meaning is same. Okay. Indirectly sir. meaning that you you you, didn't, you were not getting opportunity for the research in this organization. So that is why you left that organization, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Indirect meaning. So how you can use that experience? Then my next question was why how you can use the experience? Yes, sir. You explained me the only the those things which you have done okay sir more important is that okay how that 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 can be helpful in your research okay yes sir yes sir how that can be they are not interested whether whether you work in cnc or all that but how that is going to be helpful how that exposure is going to be helpful for you in the research yes sir so you you can relate it to that part that okay you can say that okay practically working with the things i think you give you a greater depth of knowledge yes, in sir. understanding machines. So when you will start working in new projects, so I think uh, that understanding is going to be helpful. Yes, sir. Right. So just try to relate it that way. Rather than uh, it is not important that, okay, you have done that or not. That is Correct, hardly sir. important, right? But Understood. definitely, if you work in some areas, there it is going to be helpful. Indirectly. Correct, sir. How you can contribute? Okay, I think you have gone through that uh, website. So just identify those areas where yes. they're working and where your role can, you can fit into that particular role. Yes, and sir. Can, these are the possible areas. Yes, sir. You think that okay, you can contribute because you have all already exposure of uh, in this particular domain. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Sir. Okay, yes. Small changes are required. Rest is okay. fine. Yes. Sir.